Okay, so I have Logger Pro started up. I have a motion detector on the floor looking up. You want to have it in the basketball setting, not the car setting. Now I'm going to drop some coffee filters right above it and collect the data and show you how to analyze it. Okay, so here we go. Okay, that one wasn't great. You see, oops, I clicked it over. You see that you get these spikes. It's probably good enough, but let's redo it. So I'm going to go up here to uh, clear the data. And let's try it again. You want to be out of the way of the detector and over the detector. That was good. Okay, so let's look at this position graph first. You see here it started around two meters above the detector and then it fell. Once it gets too close, you get really bad data, so let's just ignore that. I'm going to click this graph and zoom in. Oh, it's already zoomed in. Okay, what I want is to zoom in on just this part. Let's do that. So I can just drag a square around there and then click the the zoom. It'll zoom in. Now you'll see that it's falling and it's speeding up, but right here it's at a constant speed. So if I highlight this region and then I click, you can just click this linear fit button right there and it gives you a linear fit. You see here it has a slope of 1.32 meters per second um, and it looks like it fits the data pretty well, so that's good. Now I can just redo the exact same experiment five times and get an average in your standard deviation and that's one way to do this. Don't worry about the uh, uncertainty in the fit if you do it this way. That's, that's not what we want. Okay, the other way, now and, and if, you, if you don't have a good fit, if you drag this too far that way, you see that it doesn't fit as well. So you can just drag your cursor and fit the, the part that looks constant. That's the part that, that you want to fit. If I go down here to the velocity graph, uh, it's hard to see but during that same time, I'll zoom in this part. You can see that it's moving at a constant velocity. You could fit a function of that, but I wouldn't do that. I would just stick with this position graph. And this is the value you want. You want that slope. You want to redo it five times, and then you can change the number of coffee filters and get what you want. If you get bad data, just try moving it around uh, and dropping more carefully. You, just, you should be able to get good data. And that's uh, how you're going to collect your terminal velocity data. You're still going to use that to make a graph for something else.